Hello and welcome to this new series of the Pixel OS. So this is a new series that contains a few parts and is all recorded from my desk. So um, this is not really scripted. None of my videos are scripted. I'm trying to make some scripted ones, but uh, I'm not enough paper. Uh, it's funny, right? But uh, yeah, this should really look kind of realistic. So right here is where the like the logo comes in you can screenshot this something like that in this video like you can pause this and screenshot it and if there's those bars down here um i don't know so first you will need to make the thumbnail of course you can make anything else i call this pixel os they want to make a blur i didn't really use any app Play old scratch so let me do this so just set the pen size to basic basic two then set the then zoom in and keep making lines like those you can make small lines that's all so it's quite easy don't make a two tick if you make two to four two to four should be good four equals one pixel, four equal to one whole pixel. So after this, you make it tick, and you need to make it quite tick actually. You can make it too thin, or else it won't work a lot. That's your dead. So first, I'll put this right here. In Hawaii. Okay. So then right here, I put a uh, a this thing kind of cool thing and I make this go down like a pixel and a pixel so this one called pixel always and then I make make the line sticker of course the lines a little thicker and then make it a lot thicker a lot a lot a lot thicker then up here of course I can make it thicker too because it's not thick at all so then what you want to do is convert to vector and then make it big. You can make any tech thing actually. Like um anything actually. Then you convert to back again. Then wow, it blurs. So this is quite useful to scratch. I think back it's like see it like this what it looks like. It's not blur from the side, but it looks it looks it's starting to come blur at the side. I don't know why I think this was actually quite nice. So of course this is not as nice as this one of course because this one is sorry for this cool weird thing up here because um yeah. So I messed up that thing. So then you go inside the green flag. So this is basically a thumbnail. Thumbnail scripts are basically one easy, so like just press save now. There are a few options like go to go to front layer and put a height here and say the position to go front layer and save the project. But when you do that click, it like hides. So if you go out into my my stuff, then you can see right here there's quite the thumbnail saves. And then if I press inside, then actually hides. So then it's quite convenient to do this because you don't really need to do anything else. So then you need to make a few sprites. One called um okay. So the sprites you'll need to make is of quite a few not not sprites costumes. I name this. Uh, login screen quite easy and convenient so then you make a basic login screen so you need to draw a simple um circle you can press shift and do it too so it becomes more Circle. So then you know have no outline and just make a, a little bit darker and just put a simple user interface. 
put the one on Windows or all the stuff. So you can make it other stuff like maybe a nice avatar or maybe even an, a, di a character from a movie. It's funny. Oh, yeah. So drawing is quite hard. Um, you can also search up some OS's on Scratch and check what they are. So not a lot of stuff there. Um, not a lot. But let me try to find some. I think I got one in my previous OS's I made, like Rift OS, which was made by Epic Dude Longo, and I remixed it because I had to help. So I said I add a lot. Oh, sorry. And he said thanks. Okay, so and this guy. So shout out to him. This guy. Okay, so. quite a big project and it requires a lot of sprites because the original guy used a lot of sprites and I could not like drag every single costume to a sprite so like see like when you start it like if you touch it it's like it smoothly goes big you it it's always developed by who and all this cool stuff login screen then this thing shape then this thing spins according to the internet Quite cool actually. So then, oh yeah, there's a bunch of apps that you can go right here. Just a few songs. You might want to cover your ears. Oh, I think I muted the tab. So give me. Go back. Okay, so that was horrible. So I didn't choose the song, the developer did it. Okay, so then there's an app called App Deck, and it's quite cool. You get uh, add some animations that I made. Get one MB, that's like the most lethal in history there. Scratch. So they say, oops, the server scratched in its head. If you want to help with Scratch, because to make it more interactive and better, you can, uh, Go link in the description and check it out. Okay, so yeah. Next, there's a single settings you can change the background. Wow, like what? It's quite nice. I like this background a lot because it's the company background. I also like this background a lot because I don't like light colors like this. Also, this looks like Zombie Land. So um, you can shut down, can you shutting down, and it stops the project. Quite easy. And cool. So then, so after that, you can surely, you know, go back to my Pixel OS and do whatever I want. Okay, so right here, I'm just gonna draw a symbol square. It's weird, right? Oh, my God. Oh, God. Okay, so make this more skinny. And, okay, so make this curve. And voila. Okay, so this is quite nice already. I think I need to make the face a little bigger. And uh, already this thing bigger. This is not as nice. As, okay, so now I'm just going to make this whole thing bigger by pressing Alt. So it will go from the middle, but out is my shortcut recording key. So I'll just do this. So we can make the uh um this thing a little more ticker. Twenty is a little too tick. Ten, yeah, ten is perfect. So here I can like make this make another. This is pretty much the same size as. The other stuff and yeah yeah so now it looks a little nicer but so yeah, I'm gonna move this a little to the right but here right here maybe move this a little to the left I think this is perfect move this a little bit to the down area oh okay so this is perfect now 
after this and zoom out and duplicate this costume. I can say this is the avatar. This is the button. Okay, so the button is simply good already. So you just make it like any color you want actually. I, I prefer blue. Because blue is the main color for my OS. So it so if you're wondering how to make curved edges, you click on a edge. Two edges actually. Using the curvy mode and then go up to this edge and double click it. And oh such so power. So you can repeat that process. You also can put the use the delete. But this is simply more a lot easier. Okay, so now it looks quite nice already. And you can take a text called log in. You also can make a text of sign up, but this is going to be a simple OS that you built towards what you want. And it's basically an easy tutorial that helps you to make a simple OS. So, depends on what size what size you want an OS, you'll be. You can make it a lot bigger by pressing Alt and the button. So right here. Uh, so what's the problem now? So they're in the same exact place. So they will like do the same thing. So we use the down key and make it go down by a few pixels. More down until you get you think. So first it doesn't you know do like touch the thing so quite easy so first make a variable called clone id for this byte only actually you can take login id or you can make a simple variable if you want it to show uh, i don't even know if you want to show mostly not so hide this variable and say Um, so this was also used. Oh, then I'm gonna call this. I'm missing this shutdown. Sorry. Oh, uh, yeah. So this also was used in my um intro series. So basically, you'll type in avatar, then create clone of yourself. And then duplicate this login ID equal avatar and create a clone style and put this to button. When I start as a clone, if the login ID is equal to avatar, then you need to uh, do this. So after the login ID is equal to avatar, you show. Clear in the beginning, you need hide because you don't want your main sprite to show because it will make a few cl two clones. That what is a clone, and one is a you know clone a, a a normal sprite that you can see. So then press this go to front layer and forever. And I switch costume to login ID. And right here, uh, it's just switching to the avatar. So then, oh yeah, we'll need to put the show right here. Duplicate this and button. Then, who is this too? Oh, so you must make this a little bigger because it does really look nice, very nice. Okay, so right here, and the button is a little too big. So it won't be good if the button is very big because it's not nice. So then, what do you want to do? Put a background, make a background, simple background. I'm not going to design a background. Like, mm, 
Maybe a few mountains or something like that. Uh, okay, so I can use one of them in my one of my projects called Reganzo's 500 Tournament Thumbnail. So, thumbnail, it's a risky thumbnail. Reganzo's 500 Game Contest Trial Thumbnail. Okay, so, then, right here, yeah, it's quite nice actually. It's like, woohoo, 500, they went up the mountain and successfully went up the mountain. And this, uh, I do get uh, about 500 people right here, there are about 100 right here to represent the other founder to follow him. And this is him, which is like, wow, I got 500. So quite good. So then you go to share projects and no unshare projects because that's a share. Yeah, so I don't really want to see all this. So please don't, please don't. So after that, Pixel OS. Ahaha. It works. So then go to button and forever. If else. Touching mouse pointer. So this is a simple algorithm that you can basically use to do anything. Like it makes stuff smooth and uh, nicer than normal. Yeah. So then you go to size. So then you put a uh, any any digit you want right here, and then you then you duplicate this and set the size to uh one hundred. So the basic algorithm for this is it's like so it's like okay. So then you okay. So it's it's okay. So it is you. Take a 120, that 125 is the size, the size that you want it to grow when you touch the mouse pointer. And then minus size divided by 5. So the 5 is the smoothness that it is. So if I put a very big number like 20, it will be like slow and smooth. But I don't need to be too like too fast and weird. So just put a normal three to five. I right? guess quite this is gonna be fast. So it's like too fast. So you can put any that you want. It's not too big, not too small, and not too like unsmooth. So right here, you see this thing looks too big. This thing actually looks bigger than the button, a lot bigger than the button. So this, I make this smaller and make this, make the button bigger, like a lot bigger, like this big, something like that. So it doesn't really look nice in it. Okay, so then inside here, the avatar, you actually do really nothing. Say right here in the else, put a if mouse down. So if touching mouse pointer and like touching mouse down and mouse down, so this is more convenient because so we know to make so many ifs, like only two ifs, not like if we do this, we'll need like this and if. So I'll show you an example if. Touching mouse pointer. If then if. Touch your mouse pointer. And another if. Mouse down. Then, then only do the thing that you want. So this is a lot more convenient. So you need to delete the stack of code. So then you go to oh. if mouse down then. It starts sound click, so we'll need a click sound. Click. Oh my god, that's not correct. I hate that. So first, we can go to YouTube. Find some click sounds. Basic YouTube. Oh my god, that's the thing. Yeah, click sound. 
this out. Okay, so this sounds good. So you can use this and go to a YT MP3. Time to scout. Oh my god. Oh my god. So then I insert the value, the value ID, and I download this. And yeet, it's done. So then I upload this file from the file explorer. This is a new thing, so. Okay, so I no need this like so long. No need too long, actually. I no need this. Okay, so this works. So then I start sound, click, start sound, click. Not not play sound, because it's not as good as start sound. Yeah, see? You want to play sound. Yeah, it's actually the same if you do it. But play sound, start sound is a lot more convenient in animations and many more. So after this, you... Like, see, it actually moves and moves smoothly, and then you can add a simple background. So, a simple background. So, give me add some red, like colors that don't, not too bright and not too dark. See, it looks nice. So, this is gonna be like a rainbow kind of ad hoc. The red, the, I mean, the. Mm, what is it called already? Okay, so right here. Okay, so then. So then I add a blue at the background. Let's say. Pixel OS! Oh my god. So quite nice background actually. I prefer this is quite a nice background. Uh oh. This has became caps lock. Hmm. So then you um do this uh pixel OS. So quite a nice background. So it works. I think the click sound like it's too long. So I'll just so scratch so didn't detect the mouse pointer clicking so fast. Actually it actually detects it if we put Take mouse pointer and mouse down. Let's see. It clicks at the same time I click. So most of the reasons is because of the small little audio right here. So then you basically it's it's done. So this is the start menu you want to have in a basic OS. So you also can do this in Avatar. So it's like it grows here too. So it grows in the direction where it's closest from, like in growth patches tutorial for fix the fixed collision in direction in the platform. It detects the closest area that that it goes and then it goes to the place where it goes up and it detects a floor and up there then it goes to that floor so that it won't be stuck inside that simple small area so then you're done done with this whole tutorial quite easy tutorial Oh, oh my god. So never mind guys. See you next time and scratch on.
get this totally done. Oh. 